<sighs> All right. So, hi guys, and welcome back to another episode on our channel. My name is Kwame, and this is my wife, Elaine. Hi. And it's been a while since we've yes. done a video together. So, today we decided to, you know, come back and um, come back big. Big. Yeah, because, we're, we, because of the topic we're going to discuss, but um, you're going to find out in a bit. But this was inspired by um, a question I got on one of my videos from another YouTuber, Inchiwa. And I think it was a, along the lines of how do you, um, what do you do when you're ready and your partner isn't ready? And I think that inspired us to make a video around it. Yeah. So we wanted to make a video about how to make big decisions with your partner. Um, and we, we tried to break it down a bit. So we talked about this video for a while before recording it. And we also tried to give practical examples. So that yeah. it's not only concepts we talk about, but also our own experiences. So the practical examples are going to be our stories, which um, uh, in relation to the question of how we navigated big decisions or certain big decisions. So we're going to share that with you. And then after that, we're going to break it down into the particular points that have worked for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But before that, we, I think the first thing is what you have to identify your decision making process as an individual. Yeah. So we realized yeah. quite early on that we have quite a different decision-making process, mm -hmm. um, which was interesting to discover. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you can Cause, tell yeah, cause, your... Because my, my style of decision-making is usually a bit impulsive. A bit, because... <laughs> Not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> is it very impulsive? No, the thing is, mm. when I want something, I have a strong conviction about a thing, I decide and I want it now. Like, I know that I'm going to live with the consequences of it. And I'm very like, you know, I feel it. My intuition works for me. When I need something or I want something, I want it and I want it now. And it's usually based on the emotion of wanting the thing. And then later on, I think it's adaptiveness. Mm -hmm. Because when I get whatever it is or I make a decision or I make a clear decision to go and get that thing. And when I do get it and it's not as I expected or whatever it is, I learn from there and I adapt to it. That's how I decide. I don't, um, on the other hand, like, Elaine, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is I your... think there's no right or wrong, it's just a different process. So mine is more, I need some time to align my head with my heart. So for me to make a decision, if I make a decision, I fully commit. So that means that I need some time to explore what this decision actually is in all its aspects and embrace that as well in all its aspects. So once I say yes to this decision or no, whatever the decision is, I know that I'm fully committed to the, that answer and then whatever comes at, after that, I, it's part of my commitment. Yeah. Um, so mine start with a nudge of what the possibility is and then I start to explore that possibility before I arrive to a full commitment yeah. whether that commitment is yes or no um, so mine is more like a researcher I try to get inspiration talk to people listen to podcasts yeah. watch TV about on yeah. it and then I make my decision just to fully make, grasp yeah. what it entails um, yeah, and mine is more like a, an artist who is inspired by something and his intuition pushes him to just um, do what's on his mind's eye and as the canvas is spreading out, he sees the picture clearer and clearer and he adapts to mm -hmm. what is going on there. And the first example that we're going to give for our style of decision making was that when we first met and um, before we started the relationship, I was very sure that I liked her and I wanted to be with her or I wanted her to be my girlfriend and start a relationship with her and <laughs> I was very forward about it and I wanted to like now let's do it yeah so he was already sure when we were not even in the same country yeah so we met in Ghana then I had to head back home and we stayed in touch um, and he was very forward and I, I just want this to happen <laughs> 
which I thought was funny because we were just talking on WhatsApp and I didn't want to talk or start a relationship over the internet. Honestly, I know people can do that, but for me, it wouldn't be a full commitment again. Modern guy, modern guy. Yes. So <laughs> then I got the opportunity to come back to Ghana for a research assignment and then we started dating. Dating properly, yeah. Yeah, so we went to the cinema, all these things, just to spend time together and feel what's like. But then still, <laughs> I was already sure. I'm sure. I, what am I supposed to do? I like the person, I want to be with the person. Um, usually I have, or I, I, at a certain point in getting to know somebody, um, I feel that I have known enough to, like, again, commit and adapt. Yeah. So my emotions and my intuition says, no, I want to try something with this person and I'll adapt to what comes out. And I, um, most of the time, not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for you, yes. Yeah. So what happened is that he was very ready and he also made that clear and then I had to tell him, not tell, but we talked about that I needed a bit more space to explore what this could be because I didn't want to commit if this would be just a thing that whenever we were together it would work but when I would go to Netherlands it wouldn't work it wouldn't oh, work so yeah. I wanted to say fully yes to whatever possibility it would be right? and also and also build a foundation that um, kind of like was strong enough to evolve yeah yeah not just of the whims of chatting on whatsapp and everything let's be present together let's start something yeah concrete before and i also evolves. didn't want to lead you on with okay yes let's do this and then once we are apart because it was said that i would go back at some point yeah uh, which also happened actually uh, so I didn't want to lead you on for, okay, now it's fun, 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 and then when... <laughs> fun, fun, fun. <laughs> when I go back to Netherlands, it, it crumbles apart and then we're both like... It's not fair, it's not yeah. real. So yeah. that required a bit of patience from your side. Um, but what my method kind of entails is that I'm not retreating from the this like I'm not retreating from the situation I'm still actively so we were hanging so out you were, you were more like a bridge builder yes I wanted to see what this would mean to me if it's just something for now or whether it I could fully commit to it and then I wanted to say yes so it required a bit of patience from your side um, which I think you did very graciously I, I did yes I did very <laughs> no, because because Again, when I want something, mm. depending on, ex ex like with my previous video that I made, either saying no or not, you didn't say no. Yeah. You get it? You said, let's explore this. It's a, it's a possibility. Let's explore. Yeah, yeah. It's a possibility. You yes. get it? So there was something to hold on to or there's something to look forward to and that made it easier for me to, yeah. you know, be patient. Yeah. Yeah. But I think not everybody would be able to grant me that space and patience because I know it was a bit frustrating for you because yeah. you're like why are you not like what's the doubt there was no doubt I just needed more time to explore yeah um, before I could say fully yes and that worked out in the end because when I went to Netherlands it was still a yes yeah. And we did long distance for one and a half years. Yeah. So that's not easy if you're not sure of something. Long distance will teach you right away if somebody is yeah. your person or not. Yeah. Because it requires extra commitment and determination. So I'm happy that we took our time. <laughs> yeah. And and I think we, you should check out our long distance uh, relationship video, which is going to probably pop up I'm somewhere sure on pop the up. screen. <laughs> yeah, you can okay. check that one out. Maybe the second example I want to propose is uh, we were long distance for a while. It actually flows into it. So we were long distance for a while, I had a job in the Netherlands, and we knew that we wanted to be together in the long haul. Yeah. Um, so it was just a matter of decision making as in when are we going to be together because yes you can be long distance for a while but if you don't have a goal where you work towards to then it's going to be very difficult to 
maintain. Yeah. Because it's like, are we gonna? What are we? What are we working toward? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, for us, it worked to talk about it and continue to talk about what are our options. And Kwame at the time was working still at City FM. Fam, so his it, whole it, network yeah. was there. His whole life was in Ghana. It wasn't like the easiest I, of things to do to just you know yeah. carry everything or quit everything and yeah go start over somewhere else and also the kind of work that i was doing as well um after a few visits to the netherlands i realized that it it wouldn't be as easy for me to um, assimilate into that that environment yeah because uh, traditional dutch radio was still very much um, dutch yes i didn't speak the language and most of the stations as far as i know mm. even in ghana it's not easy for you to enter the system yeah even in ghana so most people play the career i was doing at the time which is radio start from you know late night shows night shifts you know build themselves before they can get prime time shows so yeah. it seemed much more uh higher ladder to cr uh, climb yeah going, yeah so i think what was characterizing of that process is that we had a continuous conversation about what are our options. Okay. So for example, you also visited the Netherlands, you went to film school, just so you would also understand the context of being in Netherlands, what does it entail, how does it make you feel to even be there. Yeah. And then, so we were like still gathering information, but then at some point I got uh, the an opportunity to apply for a job in another uh, no in Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. And then we talked about it over the phone, like should I do it? Because I was good, I was fine in my job in Netherlands, but this would be an opportunity for us to be in one space for a longer time. And this was also based on our you know strategic um, you know comparison. An easy choice or an easier choice than me going there because she had already been to Ghana, she had um, worked a little bit with the embassy, so she had a bit of a network here already, whilst yeah. I was completely new to the yeah. Netherlands. So. so then I had to make the decision for myself, again, do I want to commit to this? So for me, what I discovered is that if I would move to Ghana, one thing I would really need was a job for myself. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't only lean on you. Yeah. You didn't Even have to come to Ghana for just... Just you. Yeah. Which maybe people find a bit offensive, like why don't you only want to come for him? But I know for my own sanity and my you own... You need a life of your own. I need something. Yeah. I'm very independent and I'm very authentic. So I don't do things with the way other people would do. So for me, I would need my own space. Yeah. Like I need to carve out my own space. And how can I do that? I can do that by having my own job and having my own community. And when the job came true, I just applied. I was like, let's see how it goes. If it comes true, then we see whether we want yeah. to do it. Then it came true and I was like, okay, so my requirement of what I need, like my own independence, my own uh, authentic space, it can be a reality. So this requirement has been fulfilled. So let's do it. So I was able to fully commit because I knew what I needed. So that's also one of the things that are very important when you make a big decision, think of what you need as a person. Yeah. Of course, you need to think of what do we need. Together, but individually as well, how does it benefit you and how does yeah. it make you feel? And how, um, yeah, what do you need from the other person in terms of support yeah. as well? And uh, to, to be able to like, assimilate properly, is that the word? The way like, yeah, to be able find to like, your feet. yes, yeah. properly and you know, ease up into the decision. So if one person is ready, the other person is not ready, find out what is making the other person not ready, what kind of support the other person needs to make yeah. it work for them, and not just make it about both of you the whole time. No, because you're, yeah. even though you're a unit, because you're trying to build something together, you still have individual needs. Yeah. And to be able to make a big decision, you really need to be honest with yourself, like look in the mirror, and think, okay, what do I need aside from what everybody expects from me? Yeah. And that's a tough, that's a tough thing to do. Not everybody is able to do that, but we are learning by doing, and 
we also ask each other a lot of questions. Yes, we do that. So you knew even though, though I had this opportunity to work in Ghana, you knew that there were certain things I needed to figure out before I could go. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. And it wasn't that I was doubting you, it was more like how can we make this situation a success instead of doing it in a rush and then suddenly we find ourselves being unhappy. Or not um, thinking things through and hitting a wall. Yeah, which is also fine because you can learn from walls, but for us we try to, especially with big decisions, we try to talk through it, work yeah. through it, get inspiration from others, talk about it with others. Um, and discuss also the nudges of wisdom you find along the way. So I guess the, the, the lesson, one of the lessons here is that big decisions take time. Yeah. They yeah. take time. So that's For us, they take time. I'm sure that people <laughs> do big <do, do laughs> decisions much faster. But that, that's what you should know. Yeah. Big decisions take time and you should always have the other person in mind as well as yourself yeah. and as well as the big picture. So it's, I think, three-dimensional. The big picture as in yeah. whatever the other person and then yourself. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. And for us, I think I also had to uh, make peace with the fact that I would slow down these decision making processes because you're quite like snappy. Like, yeah. I know what I want and I want it now. <laughs> yeah. And for me to be different. Yeah. Maybe other people would have want to catch up with you and like, okay, I can do it too. But for me, it was like, no, like if I'm really honest, I need a bit of time and space to figure it out. Yeah. Because for me, timing is very important. I say, you need to trust the timing. Of course you can force things, but will it be as genuine if you force things? So I, we needed to accept that this is how I make decisions and it will be frustrating for you from time to time. Yeah. But I will also be frustrated with you because you're suddenly like, <laughs> are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? I want this, I want Apart that. Apart from that too, there's like, there are times when, uh, is this capriciousness? Yeah. Like, when did we decide to do this? And the Kwame's already gone, like he's doing it already. And like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's scary for me too, from time to time. Yeah. Because I'm like, whoa, 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 like he's already running ahead and I'm just like, uh, can yeah. we just decide this? <laughs> so it's also asked me to be gentle, empathize, understand what's, why the rush. <laughs> right. Yeah. But maybe you can tell about um, our last example, uh, is... the marriage proposal. Um, yeah, so, wait, what, what, was, what, was, what was the angle I was supposed to There's no angle, it's just you were very sure and you were quite, it was quite a rigid decision, right? To yeah. do it at that particular moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, with the marriage proposal, again, uh, even when we were together, at some point, I was very sure that I wanted to, like, you know, marry her or be with her, besides, you know, the first one that was like the first boyfriend yeah. girlfriend thing. So early on, very early on in the relationship, I knew I wanted to be with her. But of course, realizing the pattern of how things go, you still need to be, you know, gauging when the right time is. And um, it was, I think, summer of 2018. Yeah, I was in the Netherlands, and I think I had about three days to leave or come back to Ghana. I think two or something. <laughs> yeah, and it was her birthday, so I was talking. I was talking with um, Awo, and um, I asked, like, I asked her that, like, this is what's like, you know, the situation, blah blah blah. And Awo was like, Awo is just like me as well. My best friend is just like me as well. She was like, do it. So um, I just went um, to the store. I got a ring. Uh, well, she was at work, actually. Yeah, I was at work. She was at work, and I got a ring. I went to get flowers to write a note. And when I was getting the flowers, I even bumped into uh, her brother, and I just told him that, oh, I'm just getting flowers for her birthday. So he also didn't have any idea what I was doing. So I was like running around Netherlands, picking things. <laughs> no Netherlands, where we the city, yeah. yeah, picking things and planning to do the proposal and. Yeah, she didn't, you, did you see it coming? You didn't see it coming. No, I didn't see it coming because th this is how you make the decisions. <laughs> He's just like, okay, let's just do it. And I mean, I 
when you asked me, I asked myself, is this the person I want to be with? And of course the yes came up. So yeah. I was like, okay, I can say yes in all genuine, genuinity, genuine. Genuineness. Yes. Oh, genuineness, yeah. But honestly, for me, I was like, were we already here? Like, I just <laughs> thought like we, we will be together for a while, maybe in a few years, Look, we will propose. See, this, this is one thing that um, uh, people make jokes on, on uh, Twitter and Facebook and all these things that, you know, people date for 10 years before there's a marriage proposal or somebody dated somebody for 10 years and he's now proposing and other women should learn from it because there's this misconception that, or there's this idea out there that women are often given men pressure, especially in these yeah. parts, to propose. And you are in a relationship for five years, you don't know where it's going or you don't know what's gonna happen with you. But that is what was different for me. And funny enough, is her that went yeah. to wait it out. And I was not, like, not wait it out, but at least I didn't think that we were there yet. But also, I yeah, didn't I there, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was there from year two. Okay. Yeah. I was already there, please. Yeah, yeah. only I think, so, okay, I think maybe what's in my mind, I knew we were in for the long game. So yeah. I already knew I was going to be with you till we were gray and old. I just didn't give oh. the... <laughs> I will be wrinkly, you will still be popping. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I knew we were in for the long haul. Yeah. It's just that I didn't give the concept of marriage a lot of thought. So when he asked, I was like, yes, because I know we are the real thing. I want to work with you to make things work for the yeah. rest of my life. I just didn't think of marriage yet. <laughs> and I just gave my like, hey, what's up? Oh, and there's a funny story of, of the, how, I don't want to, you don't want, do you want to do it? No, I don't want to do it. I don't know what you're talking about. With the proposal, how it went and everything. No, it's fine, we'll do it another Yeah, we'll do it another time. time. So sometimes the decision maker, can, I can also pace up with him. So with the marriage proposal, I knew this is what I want, even though I didn't give the, concept of marriage a lot of thought I knew I wanted to be with him and if he asked me to marry him yes I want to yeah. um, and we'll figure it out along the way um, and we did that and we're still we're <laughs> planning here. a wedding in Netherlands but COVID happened so yeah it's gonna come so, so <laughs> what are we what we're we, we trying to say all uh, in all. Yeah, all in all we're gonna break it down into um, the decision making process that we use or that has worked for us over time and if you're going to make big decisions with your partner maybe this will also give yeah. you some clarity yeah we're not saying our way is the right way it's just what has worked for us and maybe the process might help you figure some things out as well yeah i think the biggest takeaway is figure out what your decision making process is yes so initially, yeah. yes as an individual and then when you come together like how does it what's the dynamic yeah how do you yeah. find a middle ground yeah because we're two different decision making people yeah i am intuitive emotional and then adaptive later and she's more like spread it out research yeah. And then when you commit, you know what you're doing. So yeah. two different spaces. So know how your decision making process is as an individual. Yeah. And then because once you know, then you can also try to understand where the other person is coming, coming from. from. And then when you're able to address it to each other, you can also figure out what do you need yeah. to in order to make this decision. So, so it, it feeds into the second thing being communicates your yeah. Um, your ideas, mm -hmm. your decisions that you're trying to make, communicate with the other person, have conversations, loads and loads of conversations about it. Yeah. And try and make sure that you're on the same page. And it's also important that you, it's a continuous conversation, so you check in from time to time. Yeah. How is it going? Like, what are your, how do you feel about it now? Um, sometimes I get home and I'm like, oh, I talked with a friend about this and this, and she said this, what do you think? Yeah. Um, it, you don't have to have two hour conversations every time about a big decision, but when you find a little piece of the puzzle, you can share it yeah. and, and see what the other person thinks of it. Yeah, so you bounce the ideas off. It's a continuous thing until yeah. the decision is finally made. made. Um, and also you have to communicate what you need from the other person in terms of yeah. support through the decision making process. Um, how to make it easier on you mentally to come to that final conclusion. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think that's also very important. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of support, it could be let's talk about it, or we should maybe do research together, or um, what? Well, we also sometimes watch a Netflix series on the topic and then try to get as much information as, as possible. possible and so that it makes it it's easier. maybe not his <laughs> it's, not, it's not my style it's not his style but we still watch it together just to figure out a few elements and then we can talk about it um not netflix per se just oh no, yeah. a few content out or there. youtube or you f you see an instagram post and i share it so make it Even for articles us, yeah everything everything just it's more like research research together yeah yeah. And whether that's your way of doing or you just like go along with it like yeah. you do. Yeah. You kind of find a middle ground to navigate it. Yeah. And is there a final thing? No, I think this that's, is it. That's about it, yeah. So I would be curious to know if people recognize this or if they think it's silly. <laughs> <laughs> or, or weirdly long. That this is how we, we come yeah, big, by our yeah. big decisions. But I, we think big decisions are pretty important. And um, for, the, for the most part, I think uh, people tend to struggle with those decisions when you assume that you're on the same yeah. page. And then you later realize that after committing, yeah. the other person is not going to give the same energy or put in the same amount of work and then you realize that you're resenting the other person for yeah. leading you on and not communicating properly and you're assuming and if you're an impatient person you have to learn to be patient with the other person but in the patience process is when you talk it's the talking and keeping it active all the time it's like a yeah. slow burn yeah i think it's like a slow burn so keeping yeah. it active all the time is also going to help you the person who is impatient because it's not a drought of the idea came as a big decision. We didn't speak about it again until the other person was ready. No, and that would also make it my process instead of our process. Exactly. So it's like you are ready, me. She's not. Yeah. And then you I have to wait for her the whole time. And she's like, yeah, okay, I'm ready now. No. No, and then you don't so, even know how the other person came there. Yes. So that's why it needs to be like... Yeah. And it's also good to have a continuous process so you manage expectations. Yeah. Because what uh, what does the decision actually mean to you? What do you envision when that happens? So when I would move to Ghana, what do you envision? Yeah. No, I don't think you would envision that I would be home all day waiting for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you talk about which all those things, fine. expectations. Yeah, you yeah talk which about is also things, fine. Yeah. But if you had that image and I had a different image, then when we would get I, to I the decision, that. it would clash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So but, it's, yeah. It, it just allows you to explore expectations, understand each other, support each other in what you need while making the decision. And once you made the decision, what do you need to make it a success? Yeah. A success in your own definition. Yeah. Woo! So I think we got it. it. <laughs> yeah. So if you like this video, um, do like it and possibly share. And of course, we'd like to also hear from you in the description or no comment section below. And yeah, we'll catch you in a, our next video. We, we don't want to go on and on and on. We can, but we don't do that now. Yeah. So, <laughs> cheers and see you in the next one. See you. Bye. Bye.